Hey, hey, everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. This is a really quick video because I just finished the AMA with the CEO of VeChain, Sunny Liu, and also with the CEO of Bitru, Curtis Wang. And it was a good AMA. It was a, just under an hour and we had to cut it off at that time because uh, Sunny had to catch a plane. And they really did focus on mass adoption, what they are both doing to get the mass adoption to take place of blockchain, as well as the importance of collaboration. And we're not just talking about collaboration in the future. We're talking about the collaboration that is happening now. We had a little bit of a weak connection towards the end with Sunny. And, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, some of the times these connections are very fragile. I was on a Google Hangouts and, uh, you know, depending on uh, time of day and the type of connections on the other end, they're just not always perfect. But uh, I we did lose him for a moment, but we reconnected and it was in the middle of his last answer. But still, I think we really understand how they are uh, leveraging the power of blockchain to solve real global problems. The VeChain project is very much like Ripple in terms of the quality of people on the team and the way they are going after enterprise companies, but they are not going after the financial portion of business. So it is just another example of how uh, when a company is able to do the solving of real problems, and using blockchain, it's just very exciting. I think it's a, I think it's a project definitely to watch. Okay. So this was though had a surprise in there. And it was when mm, Curse answered his last question. He announced that he had just signed a partnership with Coin One Exchange in South Korea. This is a pretty big deal because Coin One and BitTrue will expand with their collaboration. It will provide securing more liquidity for XRP. It's going to also expand the customer base on both exchanges. They will be able to share in new projects and they will able, be able to participate in cross marketing. So think about this. When you have a project, for example, that is launched in Korea, sometimes we don't even know about it. We don't even hear about it and vice versa. Now there will be greater exposure by all of the sharing of information and also just not sharing information and liquidity but expertise so this is truly a step towards global collaboration it's out of the silo mentality that to date has been quite prevalent among exchanges. So you've got the enhanced liquidity for XRP, you've got the operational strength, you have the security enhancement, you have the cryptocurrency listings. Think about all of the people now that can use this 50 different XRP pairings that just didn't have it available to them. Uh, the Korean media has this all over it's gone viral i think you're going to see the uh media from the west cover it tomorrow uh, you can take a look at coin one and see the different cryptocurrencies that they offer and for everybody that is on BitTrue, they are going to have now access to all of these coins and for all of the people on coin one they will have access to those 50 pairs this is really incredible when you think about south korea being the third largest in terms of trading volume when it comes to XRP. It's United States, Japan, and South Korea. So I think you're going to have lots and lots of exchanges paying attention because this is the first of its kind. And if we take a look a little closer at Coin One, 
It was in September 2017 that Emmy wrote this up when SBI Ripple Asia actually brought them in as a partner and brought in the parent company to coin one. And that was kind of the beginning and the start. And then in December 2018, you can see here that this is uh, the coin one transfer, which is a subsidiary of coin one exchange. It introduced Korea's first block blockchain provided remittance mobile app to Thailand and the Philippines and it was rolled out on RippleNet. So with the connections to Siam Commercial Bank in Thailand, it's so interesting, right? And the Cebuina Luila, which is in the Philippines, uh, you can see how this is truly a powerful collaboration. Uh, Coin One, just so you know, as of May 2018, they handled 97 million transactions, 97 million US dollars uh, in equivalent to transactions per day. And that is according to Ripple. So it is a, yeah, it's a very, very big day for XRP for sure, especially when it comes to liquidity and it is also a very big day for blockchain to show how this collaboration can really create what I call a fire breathing dragon. Okay, I am jumping to the Korean town in Tokyo for fluff. It is Shin Okubo. It's on the it's on the stop that is in the Yamanote line, which is the center line in Tokyo. And if you want to have the best food, especially what's called here yakiniku, which is like a barbecue, where the barbecue is done at your table, then just head straight for Shin Okubo. There are so many good places. I can't recommend just one. Just get out on the street, start walking, and you're going to find the tables have the barbecues in set inside the middle of the table, and they're so yummy. It's so yummy. I think it's um, yeah, it's everybody's favorite here. And don't worry if you're not a big meat eater, you can go vegetables. You can go all vegetables. So uh, it's very flexible. You can go noodles and vegetables. You can go rice and vegetables. You don't have to do meat, although the meat is super yummy if you are a meat eater. Okay, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.